Dia negro. Jour noir. Cherni dien. Alium al aswad. Karagul. Il giorno nero. Black day. Schwarzer tag. Fakaten ab. Rojarash. At this day, the 15th of February, 24 years ago, Abdullah Öcalan got kidnapped and has been in prison ever since. We call it the Black Day because Abdullah Öcalan represents the unbroken effort to develop thoughts and teach. Therefore, changes can come, not only for society, but for the worldwide crisis we are living in today. In prison, he wrote at least 12 books. There are hundreds of letters in which he analyzes the political situation and widens perspectives. He insists on understanding. He insists on education for himself and everybody else. What does this mean? He is not giving up. Not himself, and especially not the people. Not giving up on peace and the democratic solution he is fighting for. He is in isolation. His health is bad, but he's continuing. He never lost hope. And he always points out that without hope, there will be no changes, no love, no revolution. For me, he stands for hope. And as much as I am learning about him, I am learning about the importance of hope. Because the biggest loss of our generation is the loss of belief in hope. The belief in hope that the crisis and mess we are living in can be changed. The belief in hope that trust come back in our hearts. The belief in hope that the damage we did to our earth and nature is reversible. The belief in hope that destruction and war can be replaced with love. The belief in hope that what we are searching for will grow through us. This is the hope we have to bring back in our life. If you want to change the toxic direction we are running to, we have to understand where we, the society, lost communal ethics and bring them back through our daily actions. Ethical approaches are the backbone of society and communal trust. They are the backbone of giving each other and everything in the universe meaning. But we have to insist. To insist on ethic, to insist on each other, to insist on values. This insisting means hope. We have to understand and feel. Where we cut ourselves off from our awareness of nature, the empathy for all living beings, and existence itself. We have to give meaning again, love life again, and protect this revitalization by taking on the responsibility with which this awareness comes. That is the beauty of the revolution. This is not a random utopia. Everything which destroys us today has been created once by human hands. Hands like ours. The mindset of this destruction is the dominant male mentality, which leads to the ignorance of the beauty of diversity, life and freedom. To the enslavement of women, to a system in which the sick need to control her body, soul, destiny, leading to daily feminicides the darkness of exploitation at any cost. No ethics, no empathy, no sharing, no caring, just oppression, in its very different expressions and levels. All of which is carried out by this mentality all over the world. It seems there is no hope for change. 
But with what we once created, we can change. The women's revolution is the basis for women and men, for all people, to change society for everybody. For this, we have to change the dominant man mentality in ourselves, in society, in all its dimension and dynamics. And it is the basis for the oppression, exploitation and destruction of life, woman and freedom. Today, it is a black day, not only for the Kurdish people, but for all people seeking freedom. As we learned about Abdullah Öcalan and about hope, this day is also a promise, our promise, to take this responsibility and belief that another world is possible and that we are all this world.